so after doing some searching, I found that there's a fan mod that some claim, claim, res restores the original PlayStation music to the Steam version of the game. And so I'm going to try and uh, do that. I'm going to try to do that um, now. So I created a folder for it. I downloaded it. I'll have a link to it in the download in the video description. The thing is, the only download I could find was a torrent. So you have to have uTorrent installed. As far as I know, there's nothing illegal about this. You can modify your game. So it said the first uh, you'll want to back up data. So I'm uh, doing that. Yeah, as you can see, that's going to uh, take some time. And then it wants you to Final Fantasy the and then the and then the exe and then the launcher.exe okay copy paste and uh, yeah this will be a um I'm guessing uh, where it says English here. I guess it's now called English because of an update or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll just copy that. And as you can see, you uh, find it. Uh, even on my old system, it doesn't take uh, that long. All right. Um, yeah, so um, I'll just X out of this and go to... Uh, yeah, and just go to here and I'm going to X out just in case uh, you know, on Steam affects it somehow uh, the installation of the mod so uh, yeah I um, this will be a comprehensive look at how to install the mod as you can see it's called rosesandwine.exe and uh, <coughs> once this is done copying the data thing here then I'll be back and I'll uh, show you how to uh, install this and we'll look at if it works okay we're back and something i neglected to mention is that you'll find uh the you'll find the files you need to back up on oh, under steam it'll be under program files 86 steam steam apps common final fantasy 8 all right so now let's see how this installer works it seems to be just a little bit bigger than the entire track, so uh, we'll see if this improves anything, assuming it launches. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to launch. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Uh, we'll be right back. There's trouble with do with doing stuff at the first time. So if it does it to you. Okay, this seems to uh, do it. You doing it? Okay, I guess I'm supposed to select uh, where my Final Fantasy thing is. I'm going to try that. And if this is the wrong thing to do, uh, be warned. I just had to reinstall Final Fantasy VIII from Steam because I uh, did it wrong. All music. Okay, that seemed relatively painless. Now we'll see if this worked. Uh, we'll be back in a few seconds.
interesting. My uh, final thoughts, as you could see, the controls took me a little bit of getting used to. By the way, V is the menu button, uh, in case that isn't clear. Um, but, um, yeah, once I got used to controls, it controls fine. Here's the trouble, though. It's, it didn't fix the sound sync issue with the main, with the, with the movie, uh, with the opening credits. How, uh, and as you can hear, for the Bamble, some of the music is just the PlayStation music put in. So that's fine, especially on the uh, opening credits and the opening cutscene. But then the Bamble Garden theme seems to be a recording of uh, orchestra, orchestral version playing of it. Now it's a very good orchestral playing, but it doesn't have the authenticity of hearing the PlayStation version. So it's a bit of a mixed bag if you ask me this mod. However, it seems like some care did go into it, and I prefer the orchestral version to the flat version that we get in the Steam version. So for me, I think this is how I'll be playing Final Fantasy VIII right now, um, because it looks good and I don't have the hassle of hooking it up to a TV. However, uh, your results will vary. That's why I left in so much of that Bamboo Garden theme so that you could see where it um, differs. It, it has its own set of problems, but to me, they're a huge improvement over what you get with the Steam version. But, again, you, ha you have to decide what it, uh, whether or not this is for you. So, it's still a mixed bag. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII on Steam is still a mixed bag, but it's a very much improved mixed bag, if you ask me, with this mod, and it couldn't have been easier to install. So, uh, hope you found this interesting and helpful. See you later.